attachment trauma is, uh, you know, we develop a relationship with our earliest caregiver and, um, without going, I could talk about this for too long. So I'll try and think of a (laughs) succinct way to say it. Um, based on how our caregiver reacted or responded to us, we developed different attachment styles. So you may have heard like secure attachment, um, anxious attachment, fearful, ambivalent. These are all different types of attachment styles. And I, if you're interested in this, I highly encourage you um, to read the book Attached. That is a great intro into attachment styles. Um, but really it comes back to again, what's familiar to us, which is what we were speaking about earlier, remembering that what's familiar is what feels safe, even if it's not good for us. And so if Mm -hmm. our relationship to our caregiver was very um, disconnected, let's say that when we needed love, they weren't there, they were emotionally distant or neglectful, that's what feels very familiar to us and on a subconscious level feels very safe. So attachment theory and attachment trauma is so, so necessary and useful when healing our adult selves because it com- we, we are always in relationship with other people, with partners, with friends, with ourselves, with bosses. Um, so understanding our own reactive patterns of, huh, so interesting when someone Uh, pulls away from me, I get really anxious and I maybe numb or I cling and I get really insecure, noticing how we react when other people um, have their own reactions is so important to become aware of. The really cool thing is if we didn't have a secure attachment with our caregivers, we can learn to have it. We're not doomed. We, it is never too late to heal. Um, we can, that's called learned secure attachment, or there may be other terms for it as well, but that's the term that I know. Um, secure attachment looks, I would say it looks different for everyone because every relationship is different. You know, even if you were, you specifically were in relationship with one person and another, your relationship is different. But I would say secure attachment is um, the balance of, being feeling like you can set healthy boundaries in a relationship, um, feeling like you can balance being alone and being with that other person, um, feeling safe in the presence of that other person and on your own as well. Having a secure attachment, of course, that doesn't mean that we're, you know, we always can he- work on our communication style and being comfortable with setting boundaries, but it's really more about this feeling of safety um, within that relationship. It all comes back to safety, but feeling like um, you're not in danger. I mean, ultimate goal is being able to feel safe, like also like safe on your own and with that person there. And also just, you know, codependency is thrown around a lot as well, but feeling being able to separate, is this my emotion or is this someone else's? Um, You know, if, if someone has, if you grew up in a home where there was the tone setter of the home, like one person's in a bad mood. Okay. We're all screwed. Like everyone's having a bad day now. Um, That sort of learned uh, behavior of your emotions are mine and mine are yours. And so secure is also being able to say, I'm angry and this is my this is what I'm experiencing as my emotion and you have your own experience of emotions and that's okay. <laughs> 